Today we're starting a series called Bait to Plate. And um, I'm going to show you exactly which bait I use near the end of the video. But I'm going to be working the mainland side of the intercoastal waterway, fishing my way up this creek. I'm hoping for some trout. That'd be awesome, but I'll take anything that bites. And I'll be using ripple mullet on a jig head and be using mirror lures. And uh, we're going to get out there and get after it and see what we get. winds are pushing out of the south southwest here about 10 miles an hour pretty steady and you can't tell it because it is I'm drifting with it but it's pushing me up this bay and I'm headed toward the mouth of that creek and there's a nice point up there but right down the middle of that bay is, is a canal that's pretty deep so what I'm doing is I'm just chucking these mirror lures and uh, hoping for a nice trout bite Okay, so I've stopped at this point here, and you can see where the canal's running right up to that point. What made me stop is this. I've got deep water to my left in that canal. I've got a shallow that runs pretty much across the rest of the bay over to the right. And um, that, that, that variation in the terrain gives you a little bit of structure. I got a point here that's giving me structure, and it's holding bait. I'm seeing bait running. So that's what's made me stop right here on this point and work it. And I'm, I'm chucking this mirror lure and I'm hoping for trout. The reason I'm throwing over toward that shallow is that's where I saw the bait. And so where you're going to find bait, that's where you're going to find your predator. didn't get a hook up right there got a nice hit but didn't hook up so um, I fished this for a little while longer and didn't really get uh, any hits after that so it's time to move on so I stopped here on the side of the creek here this is the protected shoreline here protected from the wind winds blowing pretty good it's been really chilly it was a cold night and I've stopped here because I saw bait I saw bait running look like they may have been being chased and in this setup here again you've got deep water right there in the middle you've got current flowing you've got a grass line here a couple little points so good place to be looking for fish I switched to a jig head uh, fishing that gulp ripple mullet and uh, we'll see what happens Okay, so no luck in this spot either, but let me show you where I'm headed, man. I want to get to this point, and right in front of this point is a big hole, so I'll back right straight up to it, facing that dock, been throwing a mirror lure, and switched over to a jig head. And as soon as I switched over to the jig head with the ripple mullet, bam, there we go. Got the hook up, oh, it's a nice and um, first yeah, cast, first actually, with, with this ripple mullet. Oh, it's a nice flounder.
right after I hook up with this guy, I got another little small flounder. He comes off right at the net, which was fine with me, man. I wasn't planning on trying to do anything and keep him at all anyway, so... Um, but that wrapped up my afternoon. Only had a little bit of time to fish, and, and uh, so time to start heading back. Mm, you know what's on my mind? Dinner bell ringing, baby. All right, it's time to head on back to the house and get this fish filleted up. Get to cooking. All right, here we go. This is the flounder fillets, and I'll show you what I'm about to put on them. Obey blackening. Can't go wrong with that. A little bit of ground cumin, and a little bit of cayenne pepper. Woo wee! That fish about to be on time. Got a little appetizer going on today to go with our fish as we're preparing it. So I'm going to be, I got the, the oil warming up right now. And this is what I like to use here. This extra virgin olive oil. It's on time. We got that oil warming up. And along with the flounder, we're going to do some um, tuna steaks. All right, here we go. So we got the fillets um, seasoned up. And the oil is ready, and we're about to put them in the pan. So what I'm probably going to do is cook them about two minutes on each side in this oil. And it's going to be delicious. My mouth is watering already. Give that about two minutes. Okay, looks can be deceiving. It may not look great, but that flounder is about to be on time. You just don't even understand the cayenne pepper and, and all that blackening seasoning. It is going to be delicious. Can't wait. All right, man. So, uh, what do you think, buddy? looking good ain't it it's looking, good. Good. it's looking real good you got it going on with corn some taters green beans he got a little bit of the fish but that's because he's trying to share but um yeah that seared tuna about to be on time too mm -hmm. all right go ahead man yeah, you probably don't have to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is it good real good you can tell it's fresh yeah go ahead that's on time that's good stuff, in it? I better stop. <laughs> we got to pray. All right, here we go. About to try this blackened flounder. Man, does it look good. This fellow was swimming around just uh, about an hour ago, as a matter of fact. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm talking about. Oh, that is good. A little spicy. Mmm. On time. Next time you catch a flounder, that's the way you gotta do it right there. Give that a shot. It is so good. Capped off with a, mm, with a delicious Guinness. Life is good. <laughs> well, that wraps up our first bait to plate. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, God bless you.